Good day everyone. Welcome SQL Server enthusiasts. As DBAs, we have all been there suspecting a network issue affecting our always on availability groups. Yet, when we approach the network team, they assure us that everything is fine with their 10 GB link. In this video, we will tackle this challenge head on by introducing you to the NTTCP tool. This powerful utility will help us objectively measure network throughput and provide concrete evidence to determine if it's the culprit behind synchronization issues in your SQL Server environment. Let's get started. We'll be using this uh, three node always on availability group um, for testing. JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 are uh, standalone servers uh, are hosted in East US region. JBS AG3 is uh, in Korea Central region. Yep. Uh, JBS AG1 and AG2 are um, uh, synchronous replica. JBS AG3 is an asynchronous replica. Yeah. JBS AG1 will act as the primary replica. So the test that we are going to do is like we will be checking the network throughput uh, using the NTTTCP tool between JBS AG1 and JBS AG3. And then on JBS AG1 and JBS AG2, and then we will uh, compare the results and see like uh, how is the network throughput uh, in each of these tests yeah so uh, so as discussed earlier i'm going to use uh, uh, the tool nttcp uh, for this particular demo uh, i've placed this uh, a link on, on the description of this video you guys can use it you basically have to um, scroll down and then click on uh, releases yeah and then uh, what you basically have to do is like you need to download this uh, uh, exe file yeah what i've done i have downloaded it already and placed it in uh, c drive tools folder likewise i'll place that in uh, uh, the other two servers as well yeah so now what i'm going to do i'm um, uh, going to f um, uh, uh, execute this uh, entity tcp tool on uh, um, the receiver VM and then uh, the sender VM and then I'll be looking at uh, uh, the network throughput. So here the receiver VM would be your secondary replica and your sender VM would be your primary replica. So before uh, starting that test, what we need to do is like on the receiver VM, uh, we need to create a Windows firewall uh, allow rule to allow the NTTCP traffic to arrive. And uh, it's easier to allow this NTTCP.exe by name than to allow any specific inbound TCP ports. Yeah. So uh, let's go to JBS AG3. And then uh, what we'll do is like uh, we will uh, create this firewall route so that uh, NTTCP.exe doesn't have any issues. So now that we have run this, what we are going to do now is like we are uh, going to uh, execute this particular uh, command here. Uh, it is basically like uh, NTTTCP. IFNR refers to your um, uh, uh, receiver. Yeah, so this is uh, receiver AG, GPS AG3 is a secondary. So we are uh, um, uh, marking it as the receiver. IFN M is a, a course here. Yep. So I'm um, uh, giving it as two. And then uh, the IP address for JBS AG3 is 192.168.1.4. And then we are going to do the test for 300 seconds. Yep. Let's um, start this. Okay. So it is running. Now let's go to the primary. And then now uh, what we'll do is like uh, as being source here, we will be sending the required network traffic from the primary that is from your source JBS AG1 to a secondary, which is your receiver VM. So let's uh, press enter. Yeah. So let's uh, wait for uh, this to complete. Uh, the command is uh, uh, same for uh, JBS AG1 uh, primary and JBS AG3 secondary. Uh, the only difference is uh, the primary will have uh, S and your secondary will have R, which is basically receiver. So let's wait for uh, the test to complete. And once the test completes, we will uh, uh, check like uh, what are the output there and then we will uh, uh, look at it further. I'm going to pass this video. Once the test completes and I see the output, I will resume the video back okay so i uh, waited for close to five minutes and the testing uh, is completed and what i'm able to see is like um, 
uh, that uh, we are able to see that um, the time taken is close to 300 seconds, which is close to five minutes. And then the throughput that we uh, received is like uh, 336 KB. Yep. So uh, what we can see is like the throughput that we are getting between uh, the network throughput uh, per se between JBS AG1 and uh, JBS AG3 is basically 336 KB only. Okay, so now what we'll do is like let's uh, do the same testing uh, on uh, uh, from JBS AG1 to uh, JBS AG2. Previously, we did uh, uh, between um, uh, JBS AG1 and JBS AG3, but now we will do uh, the testing between JBS AG1 and uh, JBS AG2. Uh, okay, let me note down the IP address. And then let's change this IP address to uh, JBS AG2, which will be 172.20.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.